Well, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. This looks like the right statue. Now what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? Lumos. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. Seems to have done the trick. Rebellion. Castle will never cease to surprise me. Revelia. Leviosa. Huh. 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 
Revelio. I'm going to have to get past this. Incendio. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. is getting in the way of that platform. Sweet. Must be close to honey juice. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried bean? the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out.
What are you up to now? Hello again. Were you able to get to Honeydukes? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried bilywig stings. You got them! Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant! Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I hope you were able to take care- Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Levioso. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House, like you. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well... They seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. 
I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I... I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were... uh... students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Expelliarmus! Still at it, I see. Let me open. Hogsmeade, here I come. Ah. I rely on my Patronus to keep me safe. Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts, always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. I'll have a look for you. You've certainly given me plenty to go on. Oh, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Toiling if it can be done with magic. Good thing the ministry is out here. Get rid of this. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade?
You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Revelio. It seems we may have an intruder. Come here! It isn't Laura Treadwell's car. Not clever. Come back here. What the? What have you done? Revelia. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. I should investigate. Revelio. Rebellion. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin.
You're the little slug that saved me. Are you even trying? Let me answer. Let me answer. Stupid Really enjoying a few. You've had too much fire whiskey if you think you can. The beasts are safer now. You're gonna regret coming here. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Revelio. Could it be a Merlin trial? Ha! Revelio.
Ben himself would be proud. Rebellion. Eight legs is simply too many. Lumos. Revelia. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Oh, 
I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Levioso. Accio. Incendio! Statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the elves. Don't mind me, Owls. I'm here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? Oh, I'll take that, thank you. I reckon... Oh, I'd best keep looking. Hmm, nothing. Oh, this will be nicely. Revelio. Accio. No statues here. Rebellion. Empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. Or statues of jackdaws. <laughs> hmm. Bird 
cats aren't afraid of heights, perhaps I should look a bit higher. I'd best keep looking. Mm, nothing. No statues here. Mm, here's a welcome surprise. Let me open. Here. Oh, mm, nothing. No statues here. This will do. Hmm. I'd best keep looking. What's happening? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So, Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom? Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was. So I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze, after which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. <laughs>